Hello. <clears throat> so I wanted to talk about something I'm pretty passionate about, and that's sharing the healing and powerful benefits of Reiki. And after the training, 300 hour with SYI, I um, was opened to this whole new basket of knowledge that is shamanism. And the parallels are so powerful. And um, there's a deep connection between both. And so uh, the, about the book, Shamanic Reiki, um, by Lynn Roberts and I have it here, and Robert Levy. And just reading through the first um, little sections, it, I thought it was powerful that they mentioned how deeply connected um, this practice is and how it can be beneficial to introduce shamanism into your energy work. But what's great is that you don't have to be a certified Reiki healer to um, dive into the practices of shamanism. And really saying that Reiki is universal life force and so really implying the universal. And even though you can become attuned, um, that's one way for the energy to move through you. Um, but just like shamanism, there's different um, ways that they can access this type of healing life force. And so it's not about getting attuned or some certification. It's be having access to this immense life force, allowing them be, to be a conduit for it and to pass through us and allow for healing. And I think this is one of the most mind strongest um, spiritual practice and I think it can be for a lot of people if we kind of think of it this way is that if we're going to be a conduit for this healing life force to move through us say it's whether we're teaching yoga through our words through our practice whether it's through reiki whether it's through shamanism any energy work it's we have to really think about how we are in terms of our own healing and looking at our conduit because we can only heal to the extent at which we are healed and we can only channel pure life force energy to the extent at which our channel is open and so we have this constant reflection to better ourselves when we do these practices when we do shamanism when we do reiki healing um, and so how can we cleanse ourselves? What is our practice so that we can allow that pure light to move through us? Um, so one of the practices that the shamanic um, Reiki book offered was removing, they called it intrusions or blockages. And what's powerful about shamanism is they put it in the place of they put it in the hands of the um, receiver. So Reiki, you just kind of lay there and receive. And with shamanism, you take part in your healing, moving through journeys, locating those intrusions, and you get to see it and be a part of that healing process, watching it leave, which is so empowering um, when you don't feel like someone is moving it for you and that's out of your control but rather taking place stance in your strength realizing the power in your own being own being the power that you have to heal because when it comes down to it it's really up to us to make the decision whether something is ready to leave or not or if it serves us for our highest good and having that deep connection in our healing i think just strengthens strengthens the process and also strengthens our connect, connection back to our soul. So, yes, thank you for listening. Um, that's what I wanted to share about Reiki and the power of healing and how 
when we're in this practice with others or sharing space with others that we are in constant reflection of how we are also healing ourselves, that we can allow that pure energy to move through us, untainted, clear and strong. So, thank you. <laughs>